Ayan, good morning everyone. Very beautiful morning. Ayan, beautiful kasi kumita na naman kayo kay Ayasam kahapon. And good news, my good news na naman. Right? Before we go to that, good morning to everyone. Good morning to Laika. Magandang magandang umaga sa inyo guys. Right, um, right so first up, uh, pag-usapan natin ngayon is... What are share swaps? Um, uh, what are share swaps? Yen yung main, and also the other concerns of other people about yung FOO daw nagagawin ni ano ni ni ISM, which is already yudena. So, marami pa natatakot yan kasi daw bakam bumagsak yun ina bang nila. Um, we're gonna be talking about that and more about the news, the developments, ISM and uh Sear. Yan um may lumabas kasi kahapon na news, kagabi na news na the motion for uh of, for reconsideration ni Sear was denied. It was for uh they were asking for Miss Latel to be disqualified sa third telco bid because of some uh what they call this uh arrangements before. Let me just double check if everything is working. And I think everything is working well. Yeah. Joel Legares, good morning, Sir Lloyd and like uh, good morning then Hops. Uh good morning Sir Lloyd. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and laki na ng kita ninyo. Ganda ng move kahapon. Very strong close for ISM. Merry Christmas indeed. Bullen Bear, good day coach Jacob Tolo. Good morning Sir Lloyd. Let me just move this a bit. Yeah. Um, Folaika, good morning. Um, John Carlos Flores, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then. Ops, are we expecting another gap up with the news about Sears MR? Somehow, yes, we are. We will discuss more about that, Ops, right? Jonah Aguilar, good morning. Um, Justin Salvador, Mike Buntag, kanimo, Sir Lloyd. Happy na Pasco. Control your emotions. Give love. <laughs> yeah, control your emotions right now because these are FOMO levels already, right? Ngayon, if ISM is gonna be moving strong. This is something uh marami na natatakot dito but um, we'll discuss more about that about the FOMO the emotion that you are having right now if hindi pa rin nakakapasok Addison C good morning Kim Kaiser Pedraza good morning Sir Lloyd good news po ba I, um to, uh good new goodbye po ba si ISM CLC IRC today let's check it out I'm going to be writing these down and meron din ako mga picks for today right um ang picks ko today is SMPH Ali Aba, MBT, si Maxis pa rin. DMW and GMA7. But then again, the market is boring. <laughs> right? Napaka-boring ng market ngayon. Si Popey, ang lakas ng galaw ni Popey kahapon. And now, si Now ng ipit na naman. Medyo tumaas nga siya. Ang ganda ng move ng umpisa eh. Tapos, ng ipit na naman si Now. Um, uh, pasensya na sa mga Now holders. That's why I haven't been recommending Now holders. Uh, uh, for uh, Haven't been recommending Now for uh, for how many days, how many months even, di ba? Yan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Goodbye po ba? ISM, CLC, and IRC. Uh, maganda naman yung price action ni CLC. Eh. So, we'll talk about that. CLC and IRC. Maganda ba bilhin ngayon? Let's check it out. Dave, guapo, daddies. Alright, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika watching from South Korea. Ano nga sa'yo? Pakibati naman po, Mrs. Kong Flory. Always watching, alright? Good morning, um, Dave. And to his wife, si Flory. Ayan, good morning sa inyo. Hops, hope you can enlighten us about dilution concern. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a while. Yung dilution nila, ano, na mangyayari ni, ano, kay, kay ISM. Alright, uh, John Carlo Flores, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pwede po ba mag-request SMC and IRC? SMC, maganda yung movement ni SMC kahapon eh. Let's check it out. Right, kamustahin natin ngayon. Nakita ko yung ano ni SMC kanina. Ops, thanks and more power. Financial Freedom 101. Thank you so much then. Um, Mga pala guys, please share the video. Kay kindly share this to your wall and to your trading groups if you have any. Para kung may newbies doon, they will know about this program at mag sila sa stock market journey nila. Sa mga friends niyo na hindi pa nasa stock market, if they see this video, um, they see how much we are gaining, baka ma-inspire naman sila to start in the stock exchange. At least we uh, spark that curiosity. Doon naman nagsisimula talaga yun eh. Right? Um, Michael Ched, Bloom, please. Pwede na ba bumili? Let's check out Bloom. Maganda yung support ni Bloom lately. Eh. Mustahin natin. Uh, Justin Rule. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Question, ano po effect kapag nag-offer si ISM ng more shares? Do we need to have extra BP for that? What happens? Yun yung pag-usapan din natin ngayon. Kasi yun yung concern ng iba. Kaya hindi daw, wag, wag daw pumasok. Kasi mag-offer naman yan in the future at babagsak yung stocks niyan. Uh, we'll talk about that. Right? Right. What it, what what to expect? Missy Custodio. Good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. Good morning, then. Thank you sa daily grind. Sana po marami pa kay matulungan Pinoy. Uh, thank you so much then for that. Thank you for the good wishes. Um, 
yeah, hopefully, um, mas marami pa tayong matulungan. Mark Lester, good morning, Boss Lloyd and Laika. God bless to us all. Happy trading, Joseph Cortez. May buntag, Sir Lloyd. Mukhang Merry and Christmas ngayon, Sir, na kay sure na ang ISM. Hindi pa naman siya sure, but we are almost there. Kung, kung yesterday it was just 80% na mananalo na si ISM with the news last night, nasa 90% na tayo. We're just waiting for that 10% more para mag-all-in na. Right? Ben Store, TV Gaming, good morning. Sir, ano po forecast nyo kay ISM? Nakasakay po ako early dahil sa inyo. Thanks, you're right. You're, um, I think it's gonna go up. We'll talk more about it in a while. Relics, uh, lyrics, as of now, ano po mas safe bilhin ISM CLC ba- based on technical analysis? Um, if you're in for the telco talaga, I strongly recommend ISM. Alright, si CLC naman, um, if ever, I, um, natatakot kay kay ISM, anyway, si CLC, may hila naman yan. Um, very smart of ano. That was very a very smart move of what they call this of uh, Dennis Uy, right? Because uh, he knows that the telco is gonna be a very strong pulling factor for the for the uh, for their business. Kaya hinila niya pa si CLC together with it. So yeah, pwede naman si CLC, but I'm expecting more growth kay ISM compared to CLC. Right? Anthony Limson, Sir Swap 101, please. What are implications? Should we be worried that what do ha- uh, what to do when it happens? Good morning, thanks. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Kim Kira, uh, nga pala, if you're just watching the uh, replay of the video, please move forward to around 25 minutes. And andoon yung uh, discussion natin because on the first uh, on until 8.40 in the morning it's still 8.25 8.40 in the morning that is when we start the discussion Chester Deo alright uh, Chester Deo eh Kaiser pala tama po bang nagbudega kami kay MPI kahapon sobrang baba na po kasi thanks a lot mentor MPI very good company napakagandang magbodega dyan so that you're gonna be in a very good position once the bullish market comes right that's a very good company to get into Chester Deo Siniza good morning Sir Lloyd from Chile um Agian, wow, from Chile. Good morning. Um, biyahe na kami seven days to Argentina. Di na ako makakabantay sa events ng stocks. Furthermore, positive na ako kay Dennis Uy. Gusto nila i-build pa ang Mindanao. Yes, very good. Um, very good uh, programs of Dennis Uy actually. Right? Amancio Aka, sir, may buntag po. ATN po. Very good uh, move for ATN holders yesterday nag breakout sa ATN. Good job. Sana magtuloy-tuloy. Right? Um, we'll talk about ATN more. I'll write that down. Right. Sabi ko sa inyo, magbodega lang kayo ng bodega ng AATN din. Diba? So, you have so many picks actually. Right? Just right now, I'm just taking advantage of ISM pero sa ATN for long term din yan. So, meron na kayong mga pong long, bagong long term stocks. Si ATN, si ano, uh, si ISM. Yun yung dalawang pang long term stocks ko na bago support ko. Right? Chromie, um, uh, Lady Yua. Wow, naka-live din sa wakas. First time ko po mag-live, although three months na po ako nakikinig sa inyo, Sir Lloyd. Wow, um, amazing. Uh, good, uh, welcome to the Daily Cried, Lady Yua. Alright, you're the one who messaged me sa chat room natin kanina, di ba? Um, speaking of chat room, guys, if you haven't joined the chat room yet, uh, just download Discord and then um, down on the video description, there is an invite link there. You can join the chat room to the Billionaires Club. It's a very healthy chat room. If you're a newbie and you need guidance, this is gonna be a very good chat room for you. So join our chat room. It's for free, and everyone there, everyone there is helping each other. Minsan may mga makukulit, but yeah, it's controllable naman. Kaya malaki ng community, which is good. Walang ga. Uh, somehow we were able to uh, filter out the bashers, yung mga nang hype. Ngayon medyo grabe lang ang hype ngayon kasi grabe expect ah, grabe ang excitement ng mga tao sa ISM which is something ano something understandable pero hindi naman siya fully hype may guidance pa rin anong gagawin di ba So yeah join our chat rooms especially sa mga newbies Christian Andrew De La Cruz Good morning Sir Lloyd Good morning then Elon Alberto Good morning Oh Phantom Blogging Good morning then Brian Balilahon Maing buntag sa inyo diha from Kuwait ayan from Kuwait um, good morning Sir Lloyd and Baby Laika Anyo nga sa'yo, ah, from Korea, gikan pa ko work, dili na ko katulog. <laughs> Sige. Yeah, hindi makakatulog si Roy Minaw, kakapanood ng, um, what you call this, ng price action ng chart ni ISM. Kahapon, it was very thrilling. I had to calm everyone down sa chat room. I told them, guys, huwag kayong paloko sa up and down ni ISM kasi uh, may substance naman yung pag-akit niya. 
it's just that the market may mga chupitero talaga kaya bumabagsak yan but overall it's bullish right if you are not an intraday trader wag niyo nating tingnan ang 1 minute chart right mas stress lang kayo niyan right you don't have to watch the, uh, the 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 chart all the time Raymond Arano good morning sir Lord insights po kay IRC Bloom and Meg right sulat natin si Meg uy si Meg maganda news kahapon si Meg with their earnings so yeah Meg is very good bakit hindi ko nasulat si Meg right uh, we discussed about Meg yesterday so i think i'm going to be adding Meg's list for the recommendations today Ryan John Alcantara good morning Genesis Surigao oh Suriaga right Sorry ko yun nababasa ko. Good morning Sir Lloyd. Tanong ko, lang po, what if nagbayad po ako sa webinar ninyo tapos na miss ko po isang session ng webinar? Ma-access po pa rin kaya? Thanks Sir Lloyd. Nasa KSI and KSI po pwede Friday night. Um, yes. Uh, hindi kasi ako pwede Friday night. Yes, the session are recorded. You are gonna be in a private group. Speaking of the workshop, yes. Um, you are gonna be in a private group. Um, yung mga students lang nag-enroll ma- makakapasok dyan and then all the materials uh, are there and even uh, the sessions it's like the Facebook live kasi yung gagawin natin very interactive pa rin and then just like other Facebook lives um, nare-record naman yan at na-upload ka agad so if you miss some parts of it or the entire episode you can always review it even in the future right so speaking of the workshop Guys, I have a workshop this Friday and Saturday Take adva- so that you can take advantage of the bullish market once it comes. Join the workshop. Hindi yung bullish market na nagpa-practice pa lang kayo at nangangapa, right? Invest a little amount in learning how to trade. And I tell you guys, this is a very good workshop for you. Don't take it from me. Look at the testimonials and the recommendations of the previous students of mine nandun sa Facebook um <coughs> Facebook page ko, Financial Freedom 101. Right? Para makita nyo ano ang effect ng workshop sa kanila. Right? Um, error, I don't know. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Christian and La- La Lane of Pulacan. Good morning sa inyo. Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pag-greet naman sa anak kong si Alexandra. Good morning, Alexandra. Right, good morning to you, Noel. To Jim Bern Bergado. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. What to expect during ceiling? Um, mag-stop ba ang trading or tuloy pa din? Pero mag-stop lang ang price action pero continuous ang trading. Can we still sell? Yes, kahit na mag-ceiling ang, um, kahit na mag-ceiling ang isang stock, hindi naman ma- malalak yan or masuspend. Right? It's still open. It's just that nalalak lang minsan kasi wala nang available na stocks uh, na pwedeng bilhin kasi naubos ng pagbenta. Uh, wala nang nagbebenta. But if may magbenta man, yeah, tuloy pa rin yan until 3.30 unless suspended na stock. But usually hindi naman na suspend yan. So pag nag-sealing yan, patuloy pa rin yan. Wala lang price action kasi sealing ni. Pwede pang bumaba yan kasi pwede magbenta. Now, to be one, ask one, all in a buzzer, 7.5 sir. Uh, I can't tell as of the moment but definitely ang ganda ng news. Um, anyways, we're gonna be uh, reaching that point in a while. Pinoy Stock Trader, good morning Coach Lloyd, good morning then. Jim Kua, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning too. Um, what do you call this? Umakit bigla it. To Rachel Ann Lim. Uy, yung crush niya. Ginrate niya. <laughs> it's a Jim Kua. Biro lang. Right, good morning sa inyong dalawa. Jim Kua and Rachel Ann Lim. Munit Lagman. Good morning, Lloyd. And Laika. Good morning. And giving back a little to this channel na transfer ko po sa BPI. Uy, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Munit. Right, o oh, nga pala guys, if you wanna support the channel, you, there is a super chat option dyan sa chat room natin. Um, just below, uh, just beside the smiley icon, there's a dollar icon. You can donate to the channel. You can give me tip a tip if you want to and any amount is greatly appreciated it will help me continue this channel kasi as you know everything is libre as of the moment right but yeah servicio publico natin to and any help from every anyone is gonna be very uh it's gonna be very helpful it will be greatly appreciated so if you if you want to consider helping just um you you can use the super chat or send me a message para masan ko po sa inyo yung mga bank accounts where you can send the help right rodel kachalian good morning sir good morning then rick tolorio good morning sir i would like to ask about foo on stocks and effect on it we're gonna be talking about it also kasi yun yung isang concern ng mga ism holders and sa mga ayo pumasok kay ism kasi yun yung excuse nila kasi mag foo do yan for sure yes totoo mag foo sila so we're gonna be talking in a while about uh we're gonna be talking about it what are the effects of foo in a stock and especially kay ism ano mangyayari kay ism right j Guevara, excuse me muna ha mm. 
Jay Givari, good morning Sir Lloyd from Qatar pa. Shout out po kay Tempo. Tempo, good morning then From Jay Givara and me, God bless sir. God bless you too. Jay Cruz, pa shout out naman po. Uh, Jay Cruz, 62, shout out to you. Eisenberg Ochanko, good morning Sir Lloyd. How about ATN? Yes, I wrote down ATN. We'll talk about ATN in a bit. Ang ganda ng movement niya kahapon. Right, Gerald Mel Alvaran, good morning Sir Lloyd. And like a God bless. Thank you. Ruth, Ruth Neal. Ruthenil Ross. Uh, good, ganda na pangalan mo. Ruthenil Ross. Good morning, Maestro. Watching from Dubai. Good morning sa inyo. O nga pala, guys. Good news sa UAE. I'm considering to go, um, considering going there in the first quarter next year. Just um, nagpa-plano pa. May tumutulong na sa akin. Thank you so much sa tumulong. Um, I don't know if I can shout him out. Let me uh, let me ask lang muna. But yeah, um, scheduling first quarter there. Hopefully, mag-fruition siya. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Right. Mag-seminar tayo dyan sa UAE. Right. Um, STV Traders, sir, good morning. ISM, ATN, and MRC. ISM, topic natin yan ngayon. ATN and MRC. Si MRC, sulat natin si MRC. MRC Melco Resorts. Ayan, MRC. Thank you. Um Kellis Dagger, good morning Sir Lloyd and like uh, ISM we'll talk about that. Chehero, good morning Sir Lloyd. Sir Lloyd from Raymond Arano, uh, paano po ba makasali sa group chat? Just download Discord, right? Search niyo sa Google and Discord, right? Lalabas yan sila or Discord then da- space download, then i-download mo muna. Then so once you have downloaded it, go back to this video and go to the video description down below. Meron diyang nakasulat na Discord group, may link diyan. You just copy and paste it to your browser or pwede niyo naman siguro pindutin 'yan. That's the invite link. Automatically makakapasok kayo sa chat room. Right? Ella Montefalco, good morning po sa lahat. Good morning then Oliver De Guzman, good morning sir. Uh, uh by the way, how many shares can I uh, average up with ISM? It's up to you actually. Right? It's ang opportunity kasi is habang mura pa. Right? You ha- you Averaging up is okay. Okay, pagbobaday kayo We are not, um, it's hard to expect a pullback kay ISM. We don't really know if pullback ang, may mangyayaring pullback. Kung pullback inintay nyo, if that doesn't happen, that means hindi na kayo makakasakay. So that's why I always, I have always told you na pumasok lang kayo ng konti. And then if you see a little dip, you just buy, keep buying more, keep buying more, right? Because maganda at paganda at paganda yung posisyon natin kay ISM. Right. Brilliant Encore. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Li- and Laika. Good morning then. Good morning, everyone. Kung may daily ceiling cap ang PSC market, meron din po bang floor cap? Yes, meron. Um, napansin nyo si Vulcan 50% din sa pagbagsak from the opening. Uh, hindi, from the opening. From the closing price uh, yesterday. Yun yung flooring cap niya. Negative 50% din. Kaso nga lang pag flooring, mas masakit yon, Kasi malaki na yung presyo eh. Right. So, mas masakit ang flooring kaysa sa ceiling. Uh, Julius Sernal, Maying Aga, Sir Lloyd from Taiwan. Good morning. Um, Perry Ambat, good morning. Uh, Sir Lloyd and Laika, IRC po. Let's talk about that. Nakasulat naman si IRC. Um, John Christian Villaflor, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. God bless you and your family. Dale Miranda, RWM, based on quarterly report. Yes, ang ganda rin ng RWM quarterly report. Ang daming magandang quarterly report ngayon actually. I want you guys, hindi ko na nasubaybayan kasi I got busy. Um, hindi ko na nasubaybayan ang mga quarterly reports pero ang dami. Right? Ang daming magandang quarterly reports. Check out those companies na maganda ang quarterly reports and look at the technical analysis. Tignan ninyo if maganda na bang pasukin because those are very good uh, signals that um, the company is still doing well. John L., good morning Sir Lloyd. Magkano po dapat average for a trader or what price po dapat antayin para mag all in is this for ISM uh, hindi ka mag aantay ng price ang aantayin mo ang news for going all in uh, average for a trader iba iba eh. we have different um we have different uh risk tolerance kasi it's i can iba kasi eh. if i if you were gonna ask me for me ang 100,000 napakalaki na para sa iba yung 100,000 okay lang so they can start with that it's really hard to tell but you can be profitable already um, at around 50k if you want to start with 50,000 you can be profitable on that already best for me is around 100k yun yung for me the 100k that I trade uh, enough na yung kinikita ko as a trader and one uh, one two trick TV good morning Sir Lloyd tanong lang po paano pong napalitan na ang name ng ISM magiging yun na ano po effect nito that would be very good actually um it's just formalities on changing the name. They're already Udena as of the moment, right? Um, 
Pero, antayin natin yung completion ng share swap. It's gonna be very positive, right? Uh, boy sweet potato, sir. With the current news, safe pa ba humabol kay ISM or FOMO na for us na di pa nakasakay? We'll talk about that in a bit. It's 8.37, malapit na natin simulan. Michael Ang, sir, your thoughts about P Phoenix... Uh, um, Phoenix, I'm gonna write down Phoenix, kamustahin natin yung chart ni Phoenix Alright, Gilbert Velas um, Good morning sir, insights naman po kay IRC May news na ba about the groundbreaking? Wala pa nga eh um, Kaya uh, mabagal yung galaw ni IRC as of the moment right? Hi may Villa Floor, 11, 12 pa rin uh, Sir, ang link pag sinishare uh, Yeah, it's okay, wag kayong mag-alala with the, with the link pag sinishare um, it's just the icon. Um, may bug si YouTube siguro. Wala tayong mga gawa dyan. Eh. Pasensya na. Shouts DV Popey po sir. Alright, Popey. Uh, let's talk about Popey also. Right, I'll write down Popey. Ang ganda ng move ni Popey kahapon eh. Right, Popey. Alright. Kaso nga lang, exaggerated move. Angela, Angelo Rubia, sir. When are you coming back to Manila? Looking forward to be part of your next class. Uh, most probably late December after ng Christmas, right? Kasi po, um, baka pumunta ako na Manila, right? We'll schedule one on, on during those days, right? So, Angelo Rubia, um, just I'm just organizing it as of the moment. So, wala pang official as of the moment. Mario Baroro, good morning, sir. Tanong ko lang po, ano ibig sabihin ng buyback sa AGI? Nag buyback good ba ito or bad sa traders and investors? Usually, pag shares buy back, it's a signal that the stocks, the company is considering their stocks to be ch quite cheap. So, that's a good sign. And lesser supply out there. So, maganda naman talaga yan. Kaso nga lang, hindi gaanong that uh, it's not really, it doesn't really affect the stocks that much. Especially now na bearish yung market. Hindi naman gaanong gumagalaw talaga. But that's usually, those are good signs. Thaline, uh, Thaline Loki. Good morning, sir. Your thoughts on VLL? Thank you. Let me check out VLLs. Ano? Ganda yung earnings ni VLL eh. So, let's check out the chart of VLL. Error ID, IDK. Um, sir, MRC and TBGI. MRC. TBGI. Yan, sulat ka yan. 8.39. We still have around a minute. Oh, it's 8.40 already. Sheila May Rosales. Good morning. Um, Charito Santos. I'm in a class but I should listen cause of ISM Toronto. <laughs> right? So, yan, mas importante pa ang, <laughs> ang trading kisa klase, di ba? Gorley, sir, yung MPI sa kanila ba yung project sa Cebu, Cordova, Link, Bridge? Um, hindi yes, JGS ang alam ko eh. I'm gonna review that, right? Um, I think JGS ang may, may, uh, may hawak ng project na yan, right? Gil Briones, IRC, Boss Lloyd. IRC, uh, we'll talk about that. Jovi Tanel, good morning, I IRC, IDC, and Tugs, right? IDC, sulat ko. And tags. And it's already 8.40, so we need to start our discussions. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna be stopping with uh, Rene Tado. Right? Rene Tado is asking, good morning. Uh, sorry about this. Good morning. Ano na balita kay ISM, sir? Salamat. So, we'll, I'll stop to, with Rene Tado. Right? If I, we still have time, I'm gonna go through your comments uh, in a while. Right? Topic for today is share swaps and ano yung mangyayari what are we expecting when that happens with uh, ISM and then the FOO the coming FOO they have to send out an FOO uh, kasi to have the market cap available talaga sa market right? masyado maliit pa pag maging Udena na sila which is very big the current stocks of ISM is not enough uh, for the public Kaya, they will, uh, Yudena will have to sell more stocks para mas, um, para yung market cap nila is healthy for the market, right? So, that's what's gonna be happening. Before we talk about that, we'll thank you so much to Trade Asia for supporting our cause and, um, guiding everyone for, to, towards financial freedom. To Trade Asia, check out to Trade Asia, to Trade Asia .com. They have a very good platform. Bilis ng platform nila. Very reliable. And most importantly, sa mga casual traders like me sometimes, even before, becoming full-time trader um nasa office ako so, but i i can all i can watch my phone anytime i want so maganda to trade asia for those kinds of situation kasi even you're outside uh, if you even if you're traveling you can trade all you need is internet all you need is ism <laughs> nagplug ba ng ism bigla but anyways yeah let me just lower this down all right so share swaps what are they ano ang share swap so let me just open paint para at least ma demonstrate ko naman sa inyo if we need uh, if we need more uh, further ano further 
visuals about it. Share swaps, ganito yan. Um, share swaps usually uh, happen whenever two companies will have a merger, which is what is happening to ISM and uh, Udena. That's the plan, right? Actually, okay na siya. Um, may disclosure kahapon si ISM again for their ASM and they're gonna be talking about that which is already pretty much approved. Ganito ang nangyayari kasi. For example, uh, there is an option for a company to buy the co- uh, sa merger kasi the buying company has the option to buy uh, the company through money. Right? Pwede pera. Pwede na namang hindi. And how do you do that? Share swap. Ganito. For example, ako, si ISM. Ito, si ISM side. And this is Udena. Udena Holdings Company. UHC and sila. So what I do is, for example, my one my share is, for example, si ISM, um, they already mentioned it. Uh, yung ibebenta nila is around 3 pesos. That Let's just put it to 3 pesos lang. 3 pesos per share si ISM. Diba? Yun yung value na ibebenta nila ang stocks nila. That's important. 3 pesos per share. Si UHC, hindi pa natin alam. But more or less, 72, uh, 72 billion ba yun? I'm not sure. More or less, 72 billion. But this is still floating. There should be an accurate valuation of the company first. But for example, sake, para lang ma-explain ko sa inyo, um, for example, si UHC per stock nila is at around 6 pesos. This is not the right value. Ha? This is just an example. For example, 6 per share ang real value ni UHC. It's important that we know the real value first. As of the moment, hindi pa natin alam. For example, 6 pesos per share si UHC. Right. So, ang gagawin ng share swap, ang makikita, ang titignan natin yun is the ratio. So, one ISM share is, the ratio niya is equal to two um, UHC shares. Right. So, ang magiging share swap, for every one um, one share na ibibigay ni ISM, bibigyan sila ng dalawang, yung mga owners ng ano, yung mga owners ng ISM, bibigyan ng two uh, two shares. Right? Two shares ni UHC. So, the ratio is 1 is to 2. So, for every share na ibibigay ng ISM, ay iba, ang ibibigay ni UHC sa shares nila is 2. So, give me 1 ISM share. I'm gonna give you 2 uh, UHC shares. Yan yung mangyayari. And then, after that, the merger, um, the merger, uh, mangyayari yung merger, the change of the name, and ISM becomes UHC already. Why did they do this? Because... This is a loophole in the backdoor system, right? Um, sa backdoor kasi ng PSE, uh, mahal, matagal, hassle, right? But if ganito ang gagawin nila, which is an option, mas mabilis. Na, napansin nyo, ang dami nagsasabi dati, uy, magbabackdoor si ISM kay, uh, ano, um, nagbash pa nga sila, uy, why? 180 days kayong walang trade for ISM sa mga pumasok kay ISM. Maraming natakot, but tikita nyo, one week lang, di ba? It was just a suspension of one week just be, uh, just to review the deal that was happening. And it was already good and you can trade ISM right away. This is a much faster method of uh, sharing swap. Basically, you don't have to really think about this. Wag, nyo, wag kayong makoncern dito. Um, this is nothing that, uh, nothing really uh, Wala kayong dapat ikatakot for these kinds of ano, for these kinds of happenings kasi it's still buying. Uh, ganun pa rin naman. Um, they're just buying the company. And which is, we can focus on the good news. Right? Maganda yun. Maganda yung ginawa ni ISM. So, nothing much about that. Ngayon, ang concern ng mga tao is because pag naging si uh, Udena na si ISM, the number of stocks that, uh, the number of stocks out there in the public right now of ISM uh, is kung Udena na sila, napakaliit lang yan. So, Udena will have to uh, sell more stocks to the public. So, ito yung kinatatakutan ngayon ng mga tao. For sure, uh, Udena is gonna be giving out an FOO anytime soon. So, I'm just gonna write down FOO. And what is FOO? It's, it's like an IPO, pero... Um, 
meaning IPO is meaning nagbebent magbebenta ka ng stocks, di ba? Pero yung IPO kasi yun yung initial eh, unan lang pagbebenta. But this time eh, na eh, since nasa public na si Yudena through ISM, magbebenta sila ng stocks through FOO, right? So they're going to be sharing uh, selling a lot of stocks out there. So ang kinatatakutan ng mga tao kasi usually pag FOO ang stock prices stock prices usually go down. Why? Minsan, ang FOO nila mas mura pa sa current price. Number two, the number of shares in the public. Right? The number of shares. The number of shares is demand. I mean, the supply. And usually, pag malaki ang supply, law of supply and demand, pag maraming supply, bumabagsak ang isang stock. ba? Diba? So, yan yung kinatatakutan ng maraming tao. Which is true, right? You you can consider that as something you should be fearing, but for me, ganito ang mangyayari, guys, with ISM. So this is, uh, I hope you're listening, right? If I am Dennis Uy, when um um ganito, uh, I'll 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 tell you a a story about the prices of FOO. Usually, ang FOO na price, for example, at yung candlestick nila, candlestick, 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 candlestick. FOO prices usually is at the moving average. For example, um, ang presyo ngayon ni ISM, let's check, let's open ISM's, ano, ISM's chart. ISM chart. Alright, ISM's chart. For example lang, si Udena na sila talaga officially. And ISM, uh, uh, Udena, what do you call this? Udena decides to FOO na. Usually, MA20, MA30, MA10, Moving average yung pipiliin nila. Let's say moving average 20 ang gagamitin nila as their average price para ibenta nila. So average price right now, this is the yellow one right here. So yung average price ng ISM is at 3.5, right? So 3.5. Imagine that. Ang current price is 7.5, tapos i-offer nila ng 3.5. Right, sorry. So, imagine that. They're gonna be offering it at 3.5. Eh, ang hawak mo is at 8. Uh, almost 8 pesos na, di ba? Almost 8 pesos na ang presyo ngayon. And they're gonna sell it at 8.5. Napaka-unfair naman nun. Uh, people can buy it at 8.5. Eh, ako ang average ko nasa dito pa sa taas. Current price, it's 8.0. So, that's the concern of the people. Baka ibenta ng 3.5. So, babagsak ang stock. Mas maraming bibili at 8.5. Lugi ako. That's what people are concerned about. Right? So, now... I'm gonna explain to you what will happen. If I was Dennis Uy, I hope I was Dennis Uy. <laughs> so, if I was Dennis Uy, and I'm gonna offer my stocks, I'm gonna wait for my stocks to peak out. Right? Antayin ko yan mag-peak. Hindi, hindi naman ako required na magbenta ka agad. Hindi pa natin alam kailan ma, ma-approve yung SEC. And by January, most probably by January or February pa yan sila makapag-FOO. By January. Most probably, pinakamabilis na yan, January. Pag nag-FOO yan silang January. What do you think is the stock price of uh, ISM by January? Nasa 20? Siguro kung sila man ang ma, ano, ma, ma-announce na third telco, even higher. Possibly much more higher than 20. And then by that time, napakataas na ng presyo even their average. Even the average of... Um, for example, mag-average siya na, for example, umabot niya ng 20 and then it's it holds at 20 and then so most probably ang average niyan, if it's at 20 pesos uh, and then it's been holding there for a while, mag-FOO na sila, yung average is most likely at around 18 pesos, 17 pesos. So, napakaliit na lang. Right? So, if I am Dennis Uy again, I'm gonna wait for my stock to peak out. Antayin ko mag peak ang stocks ko before ako mag FOO. Right? So you don't have to really uh, you don't have to be really afraid of the FOO. Right? It's just I don't think Dennis Uy is gonna offer it at a low price. I'm gonna wait for my stocks to peak out. So if ever 17 per- hindi, niyo, hindi ko papasok ngayon kasi gusto niyo sa 17, it's up to you. But right now I am inviting you to get in lang kasi kasi mura pa, napaka mura pa ngayon matagal-tagal pa yung FOO January, February 
andun pa yung presyo niyan. And by those times, lilipad at lilipad na yan. And then, if mag-FOO man at mababa na yung price, you can always sell half. You sell half and then the money you get, you buy it using, you, you buy more stocks once it goes down. The thing is, we are not certain. Ito lang gusto ko sabihin. We don't know what what price are they gonna be giving the FOO. Pwede sila mag-FOO at 20 pesos. Hindi ka pa pumasok ngayon. FOO, 20 pesos. Ganun pa rin. Hindi ka pa rin, naka, hindi ka pa rin nakasakay sa climb. That's the... Uh, that's my... That's my... Uh, what's the, what do you call this? That's my... Uh, that's my... Uh, conservative prediction kay ISM pag na-announce man sila 20 pesos si now nga umabot ng 20 pesos na hype lang yun di ba ngayon kung mangyayari talaga na si ISM it's gonna be, uh, there's a big possibility na it's gonna grow bigger than 20 pesos so that's why um, conservative prediction ko lang by that time is nasa 20 pesos si ISM so antay nyo pa mag 20 pesos before kayo pumasok di ba so that's why I still tell people to get in this early habang mura pa hindi mag FOO anytime soon yan. Dennis Uy, if I was Dennis Uy, antayin ko mag-pick yung stocks ko before ako mag FOO. Right? So, the concern talaga is we don't know at what price mag FOO yan. So, just get in and then, sabi ng ibang mga guru, be water. Diba? Um, if ever mag FOO sila and then mataas na and medyo mababa, you can always sell half and then just buy more once the FOO is given. Alright, so I'm gonna be reading comments uh, about the discussion natin ngayon. Um, 26 billion shares mukhang magiging MEG or MPI ang DNA niyan, sir, for long term. Yes, definitely, it's gonna be for long term. January, 900 na price, ISM, UHC, sabi ni Christian. Ano ba yung FOO? FOO is, uh, tawag nito, stock rights offer. Eh. Uh, kalimutan ko yung term. dami kasi term eh. Uh, sa FOO eh. Um, paki, paki post na ano yung ibig sabihin ng FOO, nawawala sa isip ko eh. Um, basta it's uh, uh, stock rights offer uh, to the public. Parang magbebenta ka pa rin ng stocks, right? I, I just, ayaw, ayaw lumabas sa, uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. Anyways, uh, mamaya na lang, baka may comment what is FOO. Geo Ambassador, saan probably yung dip ni ISM? That's the thing. We don't know if it's gonna dip, especially with the, yung iba kasi, y y this is what I've been discussing with you guys, di ba? Ilang araw na, um, ang dami kasi nag-aantay ng dip ni ISM, right? For for two days, right? The thing is, you don't know if ISM is even gonna dip with the news last night. You don't know if ISM is gonna dip. Kaya ang strategy na tinuro ko sa inyo, just do test buy at this levels this is what they call this ano to um, FOMO levels na ito eh. we're at resistance but we don't know if it's gonna go up or if it's gonna go down if it's gonna go further up at may magandang news I tell you hindi na kayo makakasakay just get in just do test buy mag ipon kayo yung 13th month nyo stand by ninyo para kung mag dip man at maganda pa rin ang news sa kanila you just buy more Right? Just be an investor dito. Huwag nyo nang isipin mag-trade. This is already out of position. Pwede kayo mag-momentum trade nito, but only if you know how to momentum trade. But if hindi nyo naman alam, just be an investor. Buy a portion of it at the current price as much as you can. Two days ago pa, sabi ko sa inyo, pumasok na kayo. And, if, 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 and then just look for an avenue to even buy more. Yun ay sinasabi ko, hindi natin alam kung magpo-pullback ba ito at hindi. At this case, yesterday, we talked about this, hindi siya nag-pullback. Right? Today, may magandang news. I don't think it's gonna pull back. Right? Follow-on offer. Yan. Follow-on offer pala. Yan. Thank you so much for that. Follow-on offer ang FOO. So, they're gonna be offering more, more stocks. Right? Brilliant Encore, sir. Ano meaning ng daily value sa Investagram, stocks, volume, and first metrosec, labi niya katagi, katabi ang volume. Ang volume is the number of stocks traded. Ang value is the overall value ng na-trade na stocks. For example, ang volume niya is 1 million. Ano ang piso, uh, dos ang, uh, ang value ng stocks. So, the value traded is around 2 million. Right? So, ganyan. That is, uh, that is the value. Uh, that is what it means by value. Right? Follow on offer. Jason, pwede. Price action ni ISM, please. Thank you. Mataas sa price action ni ISM. Pataas ng pataas pa rin. Right? May, may FOO ba mangyayari, sir? Yes, may FOO mangyayari niyan for sure. Right? But the question is when and how much. Hindi natin alam. So, just get in. Hindi nyo alam pa. Tin pinipigilan nyo 
It's it, this is the problem. Pinipigilan nyo ang possible earnings nyo because of something that you fear, right? We are risking here in stocks. You have to take risks. Hindi yung sigurado, right? Yes, you can be. Gusto ko, gusto nyo dun sa mga sure talaga ng galaw, but you earn more if you take higher risks. And we are traders here. We're risk takers. Why not take risks, de ba? Uh, somehow, ang dami nga nagt take risks sa now, de ba? So yun yung gusto kong i i I share talaga sa inyo guys. Um, we don't know I, ISM's, if ISM is gonna pull back anytime soon. So just get in as an investor. If it goes down, just keep buying more. Just keep buying more. Right? That's buy lang kayo. Wag lang kayo mag all in. Mamaya na kayo mag all in pag sila na talaga, si ISM na talaga na declare na third telco. This defies, I know this is high risk, but this is this defies, the position right now defies technical analysis. Right? Mahirap i-technical analysis si ISM, especially with the current position and the current hype that it is getting uh, with the news that it is getting. So, it's really hard to tell. Just uh, just play safe. Just get in. Huwag mag-all in. Mamaya na kayo mag-all in pag sila na talaga. Uh, FOO, follow on offering an issue of share stocks that comes after company has already issued initial public offering IPO. Follow on offering. Yes, follow on offering pala yung term. Right? Thank you for so much for that, Christina. Jewa, now I understand what this FOO is. Thanks, Sir Lloyd. Watching from South Korea. Morning, Sir Lloyd. MRC and TBG. I will talk about that. Um, Hi, Sir Lloyd. Thank you for the daily grind. Lif listening from Afghanistan. Good morning po sa'yo. Lo much love from Seattle, Washington. All right, so let me see if meron pang mga uh, questions about the issue, the topic natin ngayon. Sir, saan probably mag-dip sa ISM? We don't know if it's gonna dip, right? Um, this is from Kyle. Di ako pumasok for subject para makinig sa iyo, Sir Lloyd. <laughs> All right, um, Goody Futon. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Do you think Udena will also target energy to coincide on its oil and oil oil and oil exploration so in the future it might acquire energy companies edc possible in the future but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's um very possible right and na yun eh. if you know the story of udena yung uh a story ni udena is in line with his businesses eh, diba? so first talaga malaking business ni uh, dennis Uy is the storage for petroleum dun lang um, para may mastoran sila Shell, sila Petron, sila Caltech sa Davao. And then since he's already there, um, he thought na maganda mag-start ng gasoline business kasi meron na siyang storage area, hindi na niya kaya mag-rent, hindi na niya needed mag-rent. That's why when Phoenix started, that was a very good move right there. And then so and so forth. Since may marami na siyang gasolina, pwede na siya mag-barko. He, he expanded from there. Um, he he made businesses which is where where konti na lang ni gaanong malaking capital ang kailangan niya kasi sarili niyang business ang nagsusupply din so it's not far for Udena to go into power so that's something we can look forward to in the future hi sir lloyd ali and smph will talk about that wins badon sana ito ang declare uh, sana ito na i-declare sir lloyd more knowledge and power po god bless you more thank you so much uh j ryan pastores sir lloyd anong mangyayari sa presyo ng ism pag tumaas ang capital shares la from 2 billion to 75 billion um Anong mangyayari sa capital shares na? Actually, um, it's the number of shares. Eh. Uh, ganun rin naman ang intrinsic value. It's just that ang number of shares na hawak natin ngayon with ISM, um, mababa pa. Right? It's, it's still very low. But they have to increase the number of shares para ma-fit ma ang 75 billion. Um, but that's something we need to be concerned about in the future pa. Malayo pa yan. Right? It's just that napakamura pa ngayon ni ISM right definitely the value of the company is so much bigger you can see that you can see that 22 billion to 75 billion ilang ilang percentage ang increase ng value ni ISM Jim sir, good morning pag napalit na ni ISM at naging Udena ma-halt ba ang trading um hindi eh hindi na ma hindi na ma-halt yan it's just gonna be a changing of the name nangyari na kay Heaven yan from Golden Heaven naging Golden Bria saglit lang naman yung suspension Neil Bersamin good na umaga Master Lloyd good na umaga rin Mike Buntag Sir Lloyd can I ask your insight regarding subscription agreement versus stock prices good po ba as uh, retail investor subscription agreements um, 
not really good for retail investors. It's really good for investors, yung mga malalaking pera. Right? So, you don't have to be concerned about that. If you mean, maganda ba, may magandang effect ba yan sa ating mga retail investors, not that much. Walang gaanong uh, effect yan sa atin. Swing Trader, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Congrats po sa ISM. Paano po ba yung private placement ni ISM? Please, uh, enlighten us po. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't done paano yung gagawin nila sa private placement nila. I'll talk, I'll, I'll I'll look on into that. Right, we'll talk about that more in uh in the future, siguro. Kakagising lang from Dubai, from Just Train. Uh, Joseph, ano kaya ang projected price ni ISM? It's anong presyo na ngayon? Nine o two. Right, um, give me one moment. I'll very good question. I'll check out the projected price of ISM. Hindi ko nabuksan si Timson ko. Right. Uh, if you're asking me ano yung ginagamit kong tool to get the projected open, I use my Timson um, account. Maganda si Timson. Very detailed din eh. Right. One moment please. Right. So while it's loading, let me go back to your ano. Um, Michael Ang, Sir ISM RCI at 90 to 91 overbought levels. Uh, Sir ISM at 9 to 9 overbought levels. Your thoughts po, I, it needs to go down first, di ba, para makabuelo. Iba kasi si ano eh. Um, iba kasi si ISM eh. Right? Um, this go goes beyond technical analysis si ISM. Kasi news driven siya. It's not really the normal technical analysis you for these kinds of the, for these kinds of uh, stocks, you have to check the price action. It's it's the price action that will tell you where the stock is going. Wag yung ano, wag yung mga technical analysis na RSI. Let me just ano, open projected price. Here we go. All right, projected price. Uh, let's go by change. Um, CISM si ISM projected price ceiling na naman seven point two billion. Uh, Oh yeah, this is you can expect ISM to go up again today. Right, nakita niya number 1 si oy, bumaba, nag-cancel yung ano, nag-cancel yung malaking order. Right, so ISM projected price is up 4%, si Lopez 7%, si Lopez nang pinakamalaki ngayon. So, standby ko lang yan while we do our discussion, okay? Uh, we'll check that every once in, in a while 7.8 nawala eh nawala yung nagbid eh All right dami fake bid ni Timson yes and dami nagfa fake bid All right um let me go to our um to, to my picks for today um just put any comments you have um padding 3 million sir ano paano po malalaman ng fake bids it's really hard to tell if those are fake bids or not cuz you'll you'll just know if they're fake bids if ikakancel nila so hindi mo talaga alam right so let's just ano um uy nawala na si ISM eh <laughs> dami na takot. Right so ISM nawala sa top uh, opening si CLC ngayon ang nasa taas 2.2% po is gonna be up opening at 2% higher. So that's good. Right. So let's go to my picks for uh for today. Um picks ko ngayon si ang dinagdag ko sa picks ko yesterday is GMA7, right? GMA7, right? So GMA7, very good confirmation of that higher low, right? So GMA7 is it just confirmed that support. So kaka bounce na GMA7, that's a very low risk position right there. So GMA7 is something good to look at, especially sa mga dividends player out there. DMW, guys, DMW, very good spike yesterday uh, after that. So that's a very good sign, right? So that's a higher low and then very good RSI. Right, pataas na yung RSI niya. So, that's a good sign for DMW. Um, DD, no, no, not DD. Maxis, si Maxis pa rin. Um, very good confirmation for Maxis. Very good volume yesterday. Still very low risk. So, okay pa si Maxis. Right? Hindi pa huli para humabol kay Maxis. Still okay to go after Maxis. Very good volume yesterday. This is something you should be looking at right there. Ang ganda ng earnings ni Maxis. Eh. So, that's good for Maxis. I think this is gonna start an uptrend for Maxis. Right, so Maxis, it's good to get in Maxis. Um, MBT still very good. Umakyat kahapon si MBT ng konte, a very healthy volume. So that just confirmed the support even more. This is a very good position for MBT. Si Aba pula kahapon, 
um, but uh, sustaining the support. So, buy as long as that support holds if you want to check out ABBA, Ali, right, Ali, hindi pa huli lahat. Very good volume yesterday. Look at that. A very high volume just confirmed the support. So, that's a good position to start getting into Ali. Um, SMPH, right, may nagtatanong rin about SMPH. So, SMPH price action wise, still on that support levels right there, okay pa rin naman si SMPH. Very good earnings. I, this is a good, for me, this is a good avenue to keep buying more as SMPH. It's just that I am not aggressive with buying more stocks right now kasi iniipon ko ang pera ko for ISM one, the moment it is released. So, mag o ako kay ISM. Right. So, those are my picks. Paiba-iba. Alright, let's, kamustahin natin yung opening. Uh, ISM ulit, up 4%. Up, sa opening niya, value tra to be traded is already 7 million. Daki ng order. Volume is 988,000. So, maliit ang percentage but very good volume. So, you expect ISM to be very volatile again today. I'm expecting ISM to go further up today. Right? So, sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, mag-test buy kayo. If it goes down, just buy more. Right? Kasi hindi nyo alam kung aakyat yan or bababa. This is FOMO levels. Max sirloin, long term, not really for long term. Um, it's just that it's good for swing trade as of the moment. Right? So, Chris Conferencer, ask lang bakit minsan taas ng projected price tapos pag open biglang babagsak ang price ulit. Yan. Um, after that kasi, um, there are people who tend to get excited sa pag-opening pa lang and then kinakancel na yung order nila. Meron mga nag-fake bid so that the the retailers will not really know the the real action of, ano, uh, the real action of the, what they call this, of the traders. Minsan din mga jockey players. For example, ako, may average ako ng, may average ako na 3 pesos. For example, 3 pesos ang average ko. And I want it, I want to sell a portion of it at a very high price. So, ang gagawin ko, mag-fake bid ako ng malaki to pressure other people na mga gustong pumasok. Um, they will have to bid high. And then, pag malapit ng market, ika-cancel nila yung order nila. And then, they sell their stock at a high price. It, so, makukuha nila na mas mataas ang benta nila. So, that's what people are doing. So, you have to be very careful of that. There's this thing called amateur hour. Um, amateurs, sabi nila, amateurs for the first hour of the market. Ang mga amateurs, ang mga taong hindi makapag-hold ng emotions nila, andun naglalaro. Right? So, yeah. But, yung ceiling ng mga picks, uh, ceiling entries, pag naging <laughs> official na yan si ISM, yeah, that's gonna be, I don't think may mag-fake bid pa dyan kasi lilipad at lilipad yan. Right? So, yeah, that's what uh, what people are doing right now. They're taking advantage of the newbies. They're taking advantage of the volatility of the stock. So, antayin nyo lang. Right? Antayin nyo lang talaga matapos uh, makita yung real price action ng stock before you get in. Right? So, um, I'm gonna go to your uh, requests. Uh, CLC. Let's check out CLC. CLC, good price action, pero it's not that strong compared to ISM. Um, I can't really say. It's it's just that if you wanna go to CLC, just go to ISM instead. Diba? Yun lang, yun, yun lang ang gusto ko sabihin. Um, I can't really say if it's still gonna go up. Uh, anyways, CLC, we don't have right price action as of this moment. So, masama kasi ito sa news. Ang hirap sabihin eh. So, I can't really call it for CLC. I don't wanna get in CLC. I'd rather get in ISM. If, you're, if you wanna take the same risk. Just go with ISM. IRC naman. Si IRC. Um, dalawang red kay IRC. This is this is a lower high. So, baka mag-downtrend muna si IRC. Bearish yung market. Not, uh, hindi nagsusustain yung mga investors. So, if you're an investor kay IRC, let it drop and then just buy more if it goes down. Maganda naman yung future ni IRC with the train. It's just that hindi nagsusustain kasi wala pang ganong investors. Um, SMC naman. Look at this. SMC, very good jump. SMC, bounce at MA20. Medyo ma-high risk na ngayon. Uh, we are nearing resistance level. So, just wait for it to retrace. Wait for it at MA20 as much as possible. Before you wanna go in, SMC, Bloom. And si Bloom, maganda na support ni Bloom. Kaso nga lang kahapon, bin reach niya. Very good volume. Ang laki ng vo Ay, uh, pala. Uh, yung earnings ni Bloom, third quarter, negative 38%. Ito pala yung pangit. Hindi pala si... Hindi pala si, ano yung mag, si Bloom yung maganda earnings. I think that was Melco. 
or or WM. I forgot sino yung magandang earnings. But yeah, this is something bad for Bloom. Uh you might want to get out Bloom if it breaks support. This is a very bad signal for Bloom, right? So, Bloom, ingat muna kay Bloom. ATN, yeah guys. So ATN, ATN holders, good job. It did a breakout right here. Nag breakout siya. You can use that as your support if gusto niyo pumasok. But I don't like breakouts on a bearish market. So I'd rather wait for a retracement before you wanna get in. Look at this right here. Nag breakout siya noon. Let me remove Bollinger Bands. Nag breakout siya noon. Look at that. After two green sticks, nag fail and went back to support. That's a retracement. That's a support right there. That's the best entry. Here, nag breakout na naman siya. I'd rather wait for a higher low before I wanna get in. Kasi a breakout. Right? Um, so that's for ATN. That's a breakout. But I strongly recommend for a retracement. But again, I don't know if it's gonna sustain or not. Meg, um, yeah, si Meg. Antayin yung mag-breakout sa Meg, okay? Very good news for Meg. Very good earnings, right? Plus 13 for third quarter. So Meg, wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna enter so that you have a base, right? Maganda naman itong breakout na ito kasi nasa baba rin naman. And you can see that this is an ascending triangle right here. Right? So, this is a bullish pattern right here. W breakout, sustaining a breakout is our confirmation. MRC naman, si MRC. Um, yun, si MRC, after this waterfall, we're expecting a downtrend. So, we can't really say ano mangyayari kay MRC. Wala na sa PTNT sa kanila. So, we are going to go back to the real fundamentals of MRC. It showed us negative 11 earnings sa third quarter. So, that's not good. So, baka mag-support pa si MRC. So, I don't want you to be aggressive with MRC. Um, RWM. Ayan, si RWM. Uy, laka ng drop ni RWM yesterday. Ah. Baka bumagsak pa si RWM. So, konti ingat lang muna. Right? So, stay away muna for RWM. Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Allah, sakit na lalamunan ko. <laughs> right, Phoenix. Right, let's check out the earnings of Phoenix. Right, negative 57 for the third quarter. Laki na negative ni Phoenix. Ha. So, uh, baka bumagsak pa ito sa Phoenix. So, stay away lang muna kay Phoenix. Right, I'm gonna monitor Phoenix. This is very shaky for Phoenix. I don't wanna get in that. As of the moment, Poppy and si Poppy is still... This usually, uh, these movements usually start an uptrend. Wait for Popey to reach MA20. This is a missed opportunity. Very good move for Popey. Baka mag-uptrend na yan at sa wakas. <laughs> Tagal ko rin hinihintayin si Popey. Pag nag-uptrend na yan, that will be a very good uh, entry for Popey. Just wait for it to retrace before you wanna get in. VLL. Alright, so VLL. Ayan, so VLL. Good earnings, right? 15% for the third quarter and this I think this is a good support already for VLL by as long as the support holds um, maganda na yung movements na RSI niya it's gaining momentum so VLL is a buy for me by as long as it's uh, the support holds TBGI and TBGI marami daw na ipit dito eh right TBGI Ayan. So, downtrend pa. We're still touching the lower Bollinger Band. So, I don't want to recommend TBGI yet. No pre no good price action. As of the moment, si IDC nagbabounce, right? So, this is a good bounce for IDC. But the volume is very low. So, baka mag-retrace lang ito. Let's see what happens for the IDC in the future. Baka mag-support. Napakamura na ng presyo na for IDC actually. So, baka mag-support pa. So, let's just wait for it to make a clear support. No, no, no need to be really aggressive in this market. Especially, all eyes are on ISM. Tags, congratulations sa Tags. I've been recommending Tags dito pa lang sa baba. And as of the moment, magkano na yung panalo natin kay Tags? Right, it's now up 29%. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Tags. Right. So, still on an uptrend. If may mga gustong pumasok, I strongly wait for I uh, strongly recommend to wait for a retracement before you wanna get in tugs. Right, si Or naman may nagtatanong about Or si Marquis. And si Or naman, ayan. Um let's wait for Or to bounce. This is an engulfing pattern which is good. So, let's see if this makes a support. Right, ang ganda na ng presyo niyan for Or. Right? So, Or, wait for it to bounce before you wanna get in. Um, it's 9.16 so may oras pa tayo I'm gonna go to our last kanina na nag ano nag request uh, FOO fake owner officer <laughs> lol right, um, um, now I understand what FOO is baka mag break out sa 8 dahil sa news yeah, kamustahin natin yung opening ni uh, opening ni ISM still 
at 4% gain in the opening but the volume is very good now right this is a healthier mas gusto ko ito right 1 million volume at 7.8 opening price right so 1 million volume value traded to be traded by that time is 9.7 sa opening so yeah ism is gonna be gapping up malit lang but that's okay right i'd take that any 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 time of the day so good job sa mga ism holders sa mga hindi pa nakapasok uh, wait for it to stabilize and look for your entry, right? Wait for it to stabilize, look for your entry after, right? So, um, anong platform? Danilo Patro Partoriza has a question. Anong trading platform ang may stop loss entry? Stop loss entry is not allowed in the Philippines kasi napakanipis lang ng volume natin. Ang problema kasi sa PSC is pag nagkaroon ng stop, stop loss, Guess what is the stop loss? So usually of all the people is below support, di ba? So pag nagsabay-sabay, mag-stop loss lahat yan because napakanipis ng uh, volume natin. Magka-crash yung stock na yan. Right? It's gonna be selling everything and everyone's cut loss will be hit and then it's not gonna be healthy for the market. We are, PSE is not yet at that level na pwede na tayong magkaroon ng stop loss, sadly. So hindi pa allowed sa PSE. Right? Maybe in the future, kung marami na talagang Pilipino nag invest sa stock market and we have enough volume to sustain stop losses. So, yan. Um, morning, sir, from Michael Masagka. Uh, watching from Dubai, sir. Anong meaning ng value? We read that already. Right. Um, January. Ayan, so, okay na yan. Uh, I'll just go to the latest comments. LRW, inaantok ka pa, pa ako <laughs> from just trying. LRW, let's check out... Uh, Hoy Socrates, no politics here. Um, may, <laughs> may, ano, habang nakaupo, daumpoon, lugmok ang merkado ng Pilipinas, hindi lang naman Pilipinas na merkado ang lugmok. It's, it's, it's actually, the entire, ano, uh, it's actually the worldwide market that's down. So, yeah, that's kind of biased. That's very unfair. So, I don't think it's the president's fault. It's really the market. It's natural lang naman sa market ng bumagsake. And also, um, if the market is down now, it's because of the, isa sa rason is the inflation, right? And if you really know what's causing the inf uh, inflation, it's because the government is spending a lot right now. Laki ng spending ng government ngayon. But these are investments, right? Long term mag-isip ang Pangulo natin, which is very good, right? I'd rather experience this now and then be very, uh, be Ve live very good in the future kaysa naman walang ginagawa di ba? Um, okay nga ang inflation pero wala naman tayong development it's a very good development right now you have to think long term okay? especially for Socrates so Socrates, no politics here LRW <coughs> RPG, re remember a short sell is a buy with borrowed stock yes, that is short selling uh, may ano ba? meron bang uh nagtanong about short selling I think short selling December papasok ni so yung retracement pwede tignan sa 4th or daily pa rin 4 hours or daily pa rin uh, usually I look at the daily pero for ISM if you're asking about ISM ang retracements niya happen in the minutes lang eh so doon na lang kayo maghanap sa in the minute kasi napaka volatile niya it's a very uh, it's a bullish volatility kasi so you have to look for retracements intraday na so it's really hard to tell. All right, habang nakaupo, all right, Primex, yeah, we'll have uh, Sir Lloyd asked last week ko lang kayo na discover pero I followed your advice right away regarding RSM. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, may nagtatanong about APX. APX has been has is having good news lately, right? So APX, yun, look at that. Perfect MA20 bounce. Ang ganda ni APX. Uh, but somehow we have we're seeing lower resistances. So I'd strongly recommend just wait for the retracement again or for wait for it to do a support i think tapos na itong momentum ni apx right so next question is primex from i am rocketers b primex prmx yun slowly but surely si primex diba ang ganda ng climb ni primex so we did talk about primex around this level right here sabi natin this is the uh this is the uh, ascending triangle primex formed it happened here before ascending triangle na maliit it happened again here and Nagna Navy Seal crawl na siya. Right? Let's, it's really hard to call as of the moment. I will strongly recommend just wait for the retracement before you want to get in Primex. Right? AGI from HCC. AGI. Right? AGI. Ayan. Nag-collapse pa siya. So, as of the moment, I don't want to recommend AGI. 
let's wait for it to bounce um, if it bounces it's gonna be a very healthier bottom uh, for AGI so antay lang muna tayo ng bounce let's see but I don't really like to pick bottoms yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi you don't have to be aggressive in this market na naghuhula kayo ng bottom you don't do that because you don't know if it's the bottom already baka may mas bottom pa dyan so let's just wait for things to go uptrend before we really wanna be aggressive the right place to be aggressive right now is to uh, is at ayun ISM uh, laki na ng volume na opening just 4% climb which is very healthy 1.7 million uh, volume niya for trade so this is gonna be very uh, this has a high volume so all eyes are here so dito kayo mag trade right so um, yun it's 9.22 meron pa tayong konting oras uh, IMI SSI uh, IMI from Pinoy Respiratory Therapist um, oh okay meron pala tayong uh, doctor dito um, good morning sa'yo um, IMI let's check out IMI good volume of bounce yesterday so this is uy ito si IMI very good pick right, um, it reached 14 so you may pera ka pwedeng gawin dito you can buy uh, uh, good good pick dito hindi ko napansin to si IMI ang ganda ng bounce si IMI very good volume IMI has been showing us good numbers lately. <clears throat> Ang ganda ng mga numbers ni IMI. So, if you're a bottom picker, this is a better bottom to pick. Right? Ang ganda ng volume, ganda ng RSI, you have a confirmation already. Right? So, I use, you can you can try IMI. Use this as your support. Very low risk and everything. IMI. Tingnan nyo si IMI. Maganda, maganda yun si IMI. Right? Very good pick. Good job, Pinoy Respiratory Therapist. Um, Reniel Justin Cole asking about Vulcan. Really hard to tell after that uh, very sharp spike down. Usually kasi after the waterfall, I'm expecting a downtrend. I think babalik na ito si Vulcan sa normal levels niya. Kasi mawawala na yung, ano, mawawala na yung third telco hype niya. So, siguro dito at this levels, at 1.24. Kasi anyways, Vulcan will become converged. So, at least, meron, pwede kayo mag-invest kay, kay converge naman, di ba? And Danilo Porta, uh, Partoriza, si SSI. SSI, nagre-retrace eh. Right? So, after this breakout, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Akala nyo, nag-breakout na si SSI, tapos nag-retrace na naman. So, wait for the bounce lang tayo kay SSI. Um... Sir Lloyd, one minute chart po ba as best for intraday? Yes, I usually use the one minute chart on my intradays. Right, uh, baka bitter lang yan sa pangulo na tukang siguro. Sige, hayaan na natin yan. Right, it's okay. FLI, sir, yeah, it's 9.24. Sige, last two na lang. FLI, check out FLI. Right, si FLI, magandang earnings. Right, good third quarter earnings. Very good support. You can test the support out. Right, so napakamura ni FLI ngayon. And the foreign investors are getting in FLI. So, yeah, I think FLI is gonna be gonna be good in the in the coming days. Ang ganda ng support nito. One, two, three. That's already been hit three times, and the RSI is already higher. Right, so that means there's momentum at this bottom. This is a better bottom for FLI. Pwede yung e test itong support nito. Very solid support. One point forty. So that's your entry point for FLI if you wanna test it out. That's it for today. It's nine twenty five. Um. Diesel, late ka, but it's okay. You can always watch the replay. Um, ano ba yan? Um, ISM, 4% pa rin ang opening. So, that's good. Uh, today, ISM, sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, sa mga nafo-FOMO, para ma-ease out ang FOMO ninyo, bilhan nyo ng konti, huwag kayo mag-all in. Right? Para mawalan, uh, mawala, mawala ng konti yung FOMO ninyo. Bumili kayo ng konti just to fix it. Right? It's a, it's a very hard situation to be in. Right, kasi pag umakyat pa lalo yan, mas titindi pa ang FOMO nyo and you tend to not have a plan anymore. Right? Konti ingat lang. So far, so good news ang ISM. Mamaya na kayo mag-all-in pag sila na talaga. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. I hope I was able to educate you well. I hope marami kayo natutunan. Let's get rich together. Bye-bye guys.